Hey guys, it's Chris, and today on Amiga Stuff, we're going to be installing the Picasso 2 RTG graphics card into the Amiga 3000. So about three months ago, uh, it's middle of March right now when I'm filming this, I don't know when it's going to come out, so apologies in advance. I film a lot, and I edit a bunch and then I release things on a time frame, so if this is in the far future, my apologies. In the beginning of January, I purchased something off the Commodore Amiga Facebook group. It was a Picasso 2 with a microwave flicker fixer, and uh, the little cable that goes from the Picasso for the 15 kilohertz side, and the adapter. So here we are on the bench, you know the drill. We're just going to pop the top, we don't have to take the whole unit apart this time. Yeah. So I've added my rubber mat. Ankle bracelet is always right here. Ouch. Please make sure you give yourself enough room so it doesn't spring load and shoot you in the foot. That will ground us out against any electrostatic discharge. I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. I don't wanna to touch the inside of my case because the last several thousand times I've taken this lid off, I have a habit of touching the inside of the case, which is untreated steel. Hence, you will leave fingerprints with oil on them. These were a dollar at the dollar store. And I have about 60 of them. But these are cloth, and they have some rubberized anti-oil finger crap. Meaning I can just touch the inside of my case all day long. If you get all the screws out, you big dummy. Screws out. I'm going to carefully slide this door out, and then put that away. The only card I have in here now is the Village Tronic Aradney 2. Okay, you can see my fan thing for the 3640 is still fan thinging. Uh, the Village Tronic Picasso is a Zorro 2 card, so this isn't going to give you any Zorro 3 madness. Now I have this piece, I just have no idea where I put it. Take this way over strip screw right on out. Well, maybe it was destiny. Because that is like all the way up against the front. There we go. So also you'll see on my PC screen over here, I'm at AmigaResource.cx. Great hardware database. If you're into the big book of Amiga hardware, this thing has even more. And the benefit is it has all the drivers and it also has the German manual of... Uh, the Picasso 2 and all I needed to see was which one was which so the Amiga goes here and the VGA goes there That's where this comes in. This is a loopback cable. This allows you to take your Amiga video in 15 kilohertz here, right? Nope <laughs> Zum Amiga the Amiga this one, okay so your Amiga goes here. Now on the 3000 we have this little magic baby called Amber. And that's a custom chipset that is a built-in flicker fixer scan doubler. You got this magic disable, enable. If you did not, you could use one of these uh, Commodore uh, buffered DB23 to VGA. I also have the, the uh, one from, I believe I got it at Amiga Kit. And they have a buffered, same one, works great. Uh, so if you did not, you would just plug this into here, and this would go in your 15 kilohertz slot. Anything coming out 15 kilohertz would automatically be sent here, scan double flicker fixed, and shot out a single monitor. But in this case, I don't need that because I have a 31 kilohertz port where I can just fire 31 kilohertz right on in, and then you would have a standard monitor cable right here. Now this one has the coaxial and the S video, courtesy of the add-on board. And this barely fits. And when I mean barely fits, barely fits. I do not have a plastic in here, and it barely fits. Okay, monitors on VGA. We're just going to plug this in. Oh, I must have bumped the power button. Let me get my keyboard. I'm just going to hang this off to the side, hit the button, let's see what happens. 
Okay, so as you can see, the pass-through is functional. Let me turn this ever so slightly. If you don't mind, I'm just going to sit this keyboard here for now. Nothing really fancy to look at. Uh, we're going to launch SMB Mounter. I am running the Roadshow stack, so it's mounted automatically, and then I can get to my network stuff. Mainly, I need drivers. I'm going to use Directory Office to get to my Amiga share. Yours may look different. Amiga, and then apps, and then P, I bought the latest Picasso 96, welcome to P96, 2020 individual computers. Now this is just a standard Picasso install, so if you've never seen Picasso being installed, here it is. Whatever, I don't, okay, we are a Picasso 2, it automatically detected it, wonderful, it's a very simple install. All right, so we're gonna reboot. Wow, is it gonna be RTG now? No, it's not. What's gonna happen is we just put the drivers on there. We're gonna go into two things, uh, SysPrefs screen mode, and we're gonna select the higher screen mode. You can also use Picasso 96, the utility in prefs to customize your screen mode a little bit more. Resolutions, different color schemes, it should automatically plow what this card can do into P96 already, hence checking off that. Screen mode, NTSC high res laced is my default. We're gonna scroll on down the line now. I'm gonna run 800 by 600 and 16 million colors. We're gonna hit test. Doing nothing on the display, it should automatically click, and there's RTG. Now it looks a little weird, did you hear that click? Minus the big Ophi fan, and then we're gonna say okay, we're gonna do 16 bit high color. We're just gonna say save, You'll hear it click. Okay, okay. Hear that click? That's actually the relays in here. There's two relays on this sucker. And this is the RTG mode in 16.7 million colors on the Amiga 3000. You're gonna notice I have the AGA looking backdrop from Magic Workbench. So that's coming off. And a plus note about RTG systems is you get all your chip RAM back when you go into RTG mode. Still got two megs of chip. So this Picasso 96 mode. Wow. See how I have this Village Tronic, Village Tronic, whatever. So this is a Picasso 2. I have different screen modes. Now you can see it's in 50 hertz here. I'm at 800 by 650 hertz. Here in Merca, where Jesus lives, we're NTSC. So I'm going to check this little box off, and I'm going to slide this slider until I get to around 60 over here. And then I'm going to click Test. And it should be more centered for me. In a second, when it adjusts. There we go, 800 by 600. It's in the middle. Alright, so we're going to say Save. This will go all the way to 1280 by 1024 in 256 colors. I can do 1280 by 1024. This is in 1993, folks. Let's test it. Incredible. 1280 by 1024. I like an 800 by 600. We can even do a 1024 by 768. These are relays, and they literally click like a blinker. Click, 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 only when you switch modes. Crazy. Two relays. I guess that's some magic. Hey, they still work after 30 years. <laughs> I am impressed. 29 years. So, we are set in an RTG mode. Now what? I can... Did you hear that click? coming up. Now my workbench is going to look weird. Display settings. Right now it's on aspect ratio. I can shrink it one to one or I can fill it. And that takes my screen to the max for my monitor. Your monitor is your own controls. But this is actually an 800 by 600 Picasso 2 screen mode. 65,535 color. I can still do it in 16 million we can just say use. The reason you always say use versus save is if it screws up, just reboot and you'll be back to where you were, which probably will happen here. See this? I have this auto scroll thing. No, I didn't turn it on. Great. So now I gotta go back because it's too big. I would have to readjust my monitor and the Picasso 96 X Y coordinates. I don't feel like doing that because I'm extremely lazy. I don't want to run the card to the max. Now, what happens if I run a program that's 15 kilohertz, like Directory Works, one of my favorite go-to file managers? Well, it, you'll hear a click, my 15 kilohertz program will pass through, it might be a little off. That is where this stupid thing comes in again. Now remember, this is 90, whoops, 
This is 1990s technology. I can hit auto adjust, it'll slide it over, and then we're good. My monitor doesn't auto refresh when a signal changes. It should. Maybe there's some magic in this Dell that I don't know about. Switching the monitor over to high color. This is the only card I have with a relay on it. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm a double mouse button here. We're going to see if we have the same better name. So this is OS321. Boot menu. Expansion board diagnostic. Villastronic, Villastronic, Villastronic. 2 megabyte video card. 2167 product 11. 64K product 12, which is the little uh, S video adapter on it. And product 202, which is my network card right on the top. Now on my 4000, whenever I have an RTG card, it takes forever to boot. I don't know why, but it seems like the 3000 is doing a little bit better. This is a SCSI to SD, which I should back up, but I don't. There's the click. Well that might be a good sign, that way I know when the Amiga is actually doing its thing. So now you can see I have my choice of nice colors. I like this ocean and mountains. Let's see what that looks like. We're going to double click on that. That is going to launch Pick Show. These are 24-bit JPEGs. They're pretty cranked up there, I guess. I don't know. And not really what I wanted. This card has 2 megs of RAM, but it's still... Uh, that looks okay, I guess. I don't know. So that's the quick and dirty on the Picasso 2 RTG pass-through graphics system now in the Amiga 3000. So now I'm going to put this all back together and slide it back on over on its little tiny monitor and we're going to see how it fares if it still looks good on that TFT style all monitor. Right, so here we are back at home in its home and you can see it looks fine it's just off a little bit off meaning eh, just a little bit off so let me check the 15 kilohertz mode, we'll hear the click. Not too much. When I close this, you're gonna hear another click. That's the high color coming back on, and as you can see, quit bar Z, two megs of chip. 10 megs of fast, if you can even see that. This is actually pretty clear. I'm turning this overhead off. Pretty clear for a 13 inch monitor. Dolby 5.1. Hoffman One Love Amiga 3000 RTG on the new to me Picasso 2 from 1993 Village Tronic. Thank you guys for watching this little adventure. Hope this helps you if you're stuck out there with an RTG screen mode or anything with Picasso 96. If you have any questions, reach out in the comments below. I'll be glad to pass on some nuggets if I can. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I hope you'll learn something.